So Jason, what kind of handle you want to put on this dipper tonight? Well, I thought this time, Jason, we'd actually do a little bit different handle. We're going to do a jelly roll tonight. And basically all that is, is instead of like where you made the finger guard on the other tools, we're just going to, since we're using quarter inch stop, it's a little smaller to make your, too small to make your fan tail or your fish tail like you was showing us. So we thought we'd just do a, a jelly roll in that, which is just in, in essence, spreading the metal out just a little bit, flattening it, and then just rolling it over. And it'll make it look similar to a jelly roll, hence the name jelly roll. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna bring this out of the fire and we're ready to do a little hammering. Now you would have probably done this whole jelly roll in one heat, but I'm still I'm still in the learning process. So I'm, I'm gonna and plus we're trying to demonstrate. You know we wanna we wanna show the actual steps because it'd be a little intimidating for somebody the first time to think, well I've got to do all that in one heat. So we're coming out of the fire again. We're probably gonna make this a three heat project, getting everything stretched out a little bit. And we'll see if we can't get it stretched out far enough that we can put our jelly roll on it in just a minute. Once you get good at doing, doing some of this stuff, you can do this jelly roll in one heat. Um, Jason and I are doing it slow so that y'all can pick up on the processes and how to do it. So we're just taking it slow tonight. But normally, like I said, you can do it in one heat. So we're hot enough again. wanted to straighten everything up. So now we're ready to do our jelly roll. All right. Yeah, you're about thin enough for it right there. Getting thin now, so we can't blow it too much, crank it too much. This piece is pretty thin on the end, so it'll burn real easy. I'm gonna keep putting some coal here to the front so that keeps them flames from coming up and heating this up that I'm grabbing. As I said, we're about ready to start our jelly roll. So it's basically the same step as, as a finial. got our jelly roll started. Now we're gonna put it back in the fire and heat it up and continue rolling it over and try to tighten it up. You'll notice whenever I crank, I kind of move my body instead of working my arm. Because if you do this a lot and you just keep turning the blower with just your arm, you'll wire your arm out and get your muscles where they're real sore. So what I do is just kind of hold it and rock my body. That way I don't get wore out so bad.
So now I'm going to bring this out of the fire and we're going to finish up the jelly roll which creates our handle. This is just a little decorative end. It's basically going to be underneath the handle. We're going to put a twist where the handle's actually at. Just like Jason told us on the last episode, that actually gives you a little bit of grip where your fingers aren't sliding. And then this is just sort of a decorative way to give you a little bit of uh, space between to, to fit a larger hand. Instead of trying to just hold on to a quarter inch stop. So I'm just going to straighten this up just a little bit. And now we're going to put it back in the fire and heat this section up so that we can do our twist.